Let's return to the idea of a cost model for file organization access, and let's add B plus trees into our analysis. You'll recall the cost of operations for heap files and sorted files, and we sort of promised earlier that if we introduced indexes, we would have an even more attractive alternative. So let's see if we actually did better. We'll look at a clustered index, which is going to be the index that's going to give us the best performance, so this will be an optimistic assessment. We'll start with the simplest case, which is to scan all records. All right, here's a picture of our clustered B plus tree at the bottom. There's an index, which is triangle shaped, and there's a heap file, which the index points to. And since it's clustered, all those pointers are laid out in a nice uh, order like that. Data is stored by reference, alternative two. Um, and because it's a clustered uh, index, we're going to make the assumption that the uh, heap file is two thirds full. So every heap file page is only two thirds full to account for maybe future insertions. All right. The fan out of the B plus tree is going to be large. It's F. Why large? Well, first of all, we've got big pages, as we discussed. Second of all, at the leaf level, it's key pointer pairs, so we're not even storing full tuples. And in our analysis, we'll assume a static index for the moment. Now, to scan all the records, do we actually even need the index? Not with an alternative to by reference index. With a clustered index, which is by reference, we don't need to use the index to scan all the records. We simply scan the associated heap file. So scanning that heap file is just the same as scanning a heap file without an index, with the exception that we have made an assumption that we'll keep these pages only two thirds full. And in our previous analysis, we assumed the pages were totally full. So the cost here is 1.5 BD, rather than what it was before, BD for heap scan, because it takes three halves as many pages to store the same data when the pages are only two thirds full. Okay, so now we've got that cost in our table, and so far our indexes are not helping. They're actually making us slower for their first task, which is scanning all records. But let's turn our attention to a quality where hopefully we can do much better. Now to analyze a quality search, we're gonna introduce two new variables, F, which is the average internal node fanout, and E, which is the average number of data entries per leaf, the leaf node fanout, if you like. Here's a picture of a B plus tree that is clustered. So we've got the B plus tree pointing by reference to a heap file, and the heap file is in the same order as the B plus tree. To search the index, just to get to the bottom of the index, is going to be log based f of something. What? The number of leaf pages. How many leaf pages are there? There's BR records total, and there's E records per leaf page. So there's BR over E leaf pages. Take the log based f of that. That's the number of IOs to get to the bottom of the index, and it costs D per IO. So the total cost just to walk down to the leaf of the index is log base F, B over, BR over E times D. And sort of what you're seeing here, the log factor comes because each page load narrows the search by a factor of F. As you walk down this tree, you keep narrowing your search by a factor of F. Now to look up a record in the heap file by record ID is just one IO, it's one D. Recall that a record ID is a page and slot number, and that page pointer will allow us to access that record directly in a single I.O. So finding the record with key 3 is going to be that log expression plus 1 times D. So we put that into our table, and um, you can see that that's already looking like a winner. That log based F is going to be much better than the log base 2 in the sorted file. Let's look at range search next. In range search, we're going to search the index from the root to the leaf and then scan across the leaf level following pointers into the heap file, which is clustered in roughly the same order as the leaves of the index. So this expression in the first line here is the cost to walk down the tree, log base FBR over E times the IO cost per page, which is D. Now we're going to scan the leaf level and for each pointer, we're going to look in the heap file. And again, because the heap file is clustered, this is pretty much a sequential scan in the heap file, as well as a uh, left to right uh, scan of the nodes in the index. So uh, the heap file access, when we looked at a heap file without an index, we were charging a number of pages times D to scan the uh, range search. Here, because the pages are only two thirds full, we'll charge three halves pages times D. And then we're going to make one more assumption. We have to charge somehow for the scan of the leaf nodes of the index as well. And we haven't come up with a cost for that. Let's assume it's at most the cost of scanning the heap file itself. That would be if the index entries are as big as tuples. And so scanning the leaf level is something similar to heap file access. We'll assume another three half times pages times D for a total of three times pages times D to do the uh, range part of the search. 
which gives us a sum total log base f br over e plus 3 times pages, all of that times d uh, per IO. Insertion is fairly straightforward, and we won't have a separate slide on it. We're going to walk down the tree, as we do with equality, to find the location for the insertion. And then we're going to update the leaf level and the heap file as well. Um, if we're lucky, we only update the leaf level. We don't have to do a split. So that's the cost we'll assume here. Uh, we'll be lucky most of the time, of course, because uh, we don't split that often. And so the cost here will be the cost of walking down the tree, log base f, plus three IOs, uh, one to access the heap file, and then two more to write the leaf level as well as the heap file with our inserted updates. And delete, of course, will be the same cost. We're going to modify a leaf level page as well as a heap file page. So remember, the plus three here is accounting for one, as in equality search, to go fetch the heap file page, and then two more IOs to write a leaf level page update and a heap file page update. Now, if we Abstract away the details and we just look at the big O notation. In terms of the size of the file, how does this thing grow asymptotically? You'll see that B plus trees actually do quite nicely. Uh, asymptotically, they seem to be the most attractive choice here. It's in the constant factors where we have to be a little bit careful. Let's look at an example. Assume that you can do 100 sequential IOs in the time of one random IO. B plus trees in general are going to cost a lot of sequential IOs, so it could be pretty risky. For a particular lookup, is a B plus tree better than a full table scan of a heap file? Well, that B plus tree had better be very selective in the pages that it looks at. You'd better visit less than 1% of the pages to make up for that 100x cost for random IO. Alternatively, you can make sure that your B plus tree also does sequential IO. And most of the IOs, obviously, in the B plus tree are at the leaf level as you're scanning through a range. So if you can arrange for your leaf level of your B plus tree and the things it fetches, namely the heap file it fetches from, to also be sequential I.O., well, then you can take a lot more I.O.s with your B plus tree. And this will be true with a clustered index and definitely not true with an unclustered index. The third alternative here is to make random I.O.s much less expensive, and SSDs can help with that, particularly for read-only workloads or read-mostly workloads. So SSDs actually uh, can make indexes look quite a bit more attractive than magnetic disks, even for somewhat less selective queries.